Robert Jopling graduated from UTSA in 2012 with a Bachelor of Science degree in statistics. For him, earning a math intensive degree was only part of the equation. I had a hard time finding a major. I went through a lot of things and ended up trying a lot of different things. I think I changed my major like three times before I even started my first freshman semester. But eventually I just kind of took a statistics course because I thought it would complement uh, sociology quite well, which is what I was doing at the time. And I ended up liking it a lot. And I just kept taking more and more statistics courses. And before I knew it, I was kind of a statistics major. Around the time I realized that I maybe should go try to work a little bit before I continue my master's degree, I went to UTSA's career counseling service and they helped me out a lot and actually gave me an account on Rowdy Jobs, which allowed me to find a posting made by Analytic Focus. For most of the work that we do, um, hiring comes mostly because of good connections that we've had with different universities and not uh, through any other means. So, for example, uh, when we hired Robert Jopling, uh, he knew about us through the math and business schools at UTSA. Math, you can do so much with it because not only can you do analytical, statistical, mathematical things, but it's just such a broad tool set and such a refined and developed way of thinking that you're really unrestricted to what kind of job you can take on. And the good thing about a math major is that they've been trained into thinking about how do I take an amorphous problem? I'm trying to get from here to there but at a particular cost and within a particular time and with some other constraints and people are shooting at me, you know, all those different constraints. How do I combine all of that information into a problem solving method so that I can come up with the most efficient answer or I can come up with a set of answers that may be useful to know that I've got alternatives and what the different costs for the alternatives are. Because you start off with something very broad, very loose and not very good, and you just chip away at it for hours, just keep working it and refining it and refining it and refining it until eventually you get a product that's really refined, really accurate, really precise, and it feels good once you finally reach that stage to have produced something that works. Robert uh, is um, very versatile. But he's very good at math. Not everybody else here is really good at math. They have other skills. Um, so he complements other people too. He works well as part of a team. So it, it follows directly from what he was doing at UTSA. And um, he is actually a stellar example of the types of students that we would like to see coming out of UTSA. I think that if you do major in math, you like to solve problems, you like to be analytical. You like to try to look at things from as many different perspectives as you can, pull in as much knowledge as you can. And I think probably the thing common to practically all math majors, I'd have to guess, is a really a deep fulfillment you get when you finally solve a problem. You finally figure out that one piece you're missing that just makes everything perfectly fall into place. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.